Hello, my name is Amy. We will be continuing our series, The Pacific. On the last episode, the boys were being shipped off the island, which they looked extremely happy about. They didn't say where to though, so half of me is hoping they're allowed back home for a little bit. But then the other half of me thinks that it's probably more likely they're just going to be shipped off to fight somewhere else. So I'm expecting the worst, hoping for the best. This is the Pacific part three. It was pointed out to me that this does come with intros where you have the some of the men talking about their experience. I can't find it. You did say it was on YouTube. The problem that I have with films that I've rented in the past on YouTube is even though I have everything set up in English, I can only rent things in French, which I don't, I don't mind watching things in French, but I prefer in the original language. The Pacific part Looks like we're headed off to Australia, January 1943. They're all being celebrated. What the hell is this? They don't seem to be into it too much, do they? Be such a change. It's really quite overwhelming coming from the jungle to this. Some of the girls might change their minds. So strange to be treated as a hero after knowing you've probably done one of the worst acts against another human being you could do. Where are we? I keep seeing in a few films. Everyone that ends up at a sports stadium. It's probably the only place big enough to fit everybody. Let's better take a look at this. And peace is just giving up. Who? Oh, I've got to be a part of this. All right. You want some fun? Hey, buddy. Rest up. All right. Mm. I would need a sleep, I think, after all that. Saying that, they've been on the ship for a while, haven't they? Yeah, go have some fun. <laughs> the beers. Here, here, and here. Whiskey? Rum? Vodka? Rye? Bourbon? And the move. <laughs> They're planning on getting a hammered. <laughs> You're sure gonna be troubled tonight, Cobber. <laughs> there you go, Manny. To Manny. Oh. <sighs> Never thought you'd down that, mate. Quite a lot of you here now. Just arrived today? Must be thousands. Tens of thousands. Enough to make our beer run dry. Now girls run loose. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say it's a bit more like a game of roaches. Every step we take and bloody hell, there's another yank under our boot. Are they serious? I'm guessing this is one yank we don't have to worry about anymore. What a fucking prick. If it weren't for us, guzzling sake with a pair of chopsticks up your ass, you stupid fuck. <laughs> Your 
you have right here on Tommy Mix who saved the day. <laughs> I'd say he's a little bit jealous. This one hits the turps. First thing out, he's having a blue. Let us buy you the next round of drinks. It's not all like that. Alan, another round of drinks for the Cowboy Yanks. Can't even have a fucking drink in peace. <laughs> oh, oh, Yank here. Oh, look in the seat of town. <laughs> hey, beautiful. She looks a little bit like Vera. Let's be honest though, he would probably go after any good looking girl at this point. Excuse me, sir, ma'am. Yes. Apologize. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, yeah. Lucky! Whoa, oh, That's one way to make an impression. Are you proposing already, Yank? I'm proposing that you take a walk with me. You know what take a walk means. <laughs> ma'am, miss. Miss, I'm, what? I'm a foreigner on your shores. Forgive my ignorance of your customs, but... <laughs> she likes you. <laughs> You're a bold one, sotted. Let's see you in the light of day. Let's see if he's just as cute. I'm Stella. In case you were wondering what to call me. <laughs> Stella. Stella, is it? Yeah, she's she's hooked. Now just has to reel her in. <laughs> Gonna be good. I'll say. They're horrible. That would be me. Just leave me alone. <laughs> they all look exhausted. Just hung over. <laughs> Stumbling around camp like the town's stiff is not acceptable behavior. Not anymore. You are about to be awarded the Medal of Honor. President Roosevelt found you worthy. It was well deserved. You're about to go where very few Marines have ever been. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey. <gasps> get out, get out. Ah. At least it wasn't all over the desk. Get yourself a big breakfast and a pot of coffee, and you come back here when you're respectable. This is the highest honor that our country can award a serviceman. You try to act like it's yours. I think he even understands. He needed at least one night to just breathe. Even if the next day is pretty rough. <laughs> yeah. Introduction to an angel is more than thrilling. Break a hole, come on. Take it out of the glass without spilling. <laughs> Go on, spill it. That's right. Take your time. Closer. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> MP just pulled up. You gotta get out of here. Every Marine in this place is AWOL. Say that's why they're here. Shit. Listen up! Every Marine in this establishment will produce a Liberty Pass or will return immediately to his billet. Oh. Uh... Come on, let's go. Saddle up, partner. Stealing an MP's Jeep, are you kidding me? Oh. You can't do this shit, John. Not now. Don't screw this up. Yeah, he's just looking out for you. Get out. Oh. Detail oh, they're getting awarded their medals. For extraordinary heroism and conspicuous gallantry, Sergeant John Besselau is hereby awarded the Medal of Honor. Look 
out what he's feeling. He's holding back tears of happiness or sadness. Gone to see Stella. <laughs> I wonder who'll be writing to after this. Vera or Stella? Maybe both? I doubt it though. These are for you. I hope you're hungry. She's aiming straight for heart. <laughs> This is Bob. Lackey. Bob Lackey. This is my mama. This is a yank. <laughs> Skin and bones. Like a skeleton. Huh? Like a rail. <laughs> I thought you were going for a stroll. One word of an American coming to call. That was that. She's VIP. <laughs> this is like a Thanksgiving. Oh, what is that? Everyone sits at the table, eats turkey, and argues. <laughs> nay, Mama, I'll start cleaning up. Now you see? Good girl, Marcella. Good Greek girl. Greek. I thought they were Italian for a second. So, Mama, what's a Greek girl like you doing in Melbourne? No, I come from the old country, Smyrna. I was sacked by the Turks, wasn't it? The Turks invaded in 1922 and burned it down. <laughs> All gone. Wars never really stopped, is it? There's always wars going on somewhere in the world. And always have. But we made it down to the docks. We swam to a ship. We saved our lives. But our home was gone. So we come here. It seemed to have worked out for them. So now you must tell about your home, your family. Oh, well, it seems like we both escaped disaster. I fled the Lecky household. How many in the household? Mom had five girls, three boys. I wanted four kids. I tried to do it in order. The house, the right man. It took me 27 years to, to think I had found the right person and I'm just thankful I have one because I couldn't imagine not being a mom. That girl in the kitchen, my only blessing. Yeah, you just have to be happy that, just like I said, that at least you have that one. La llama. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Slanche. He's not going to say no, that's for sure. of these girls got pregnant. I never saw uh, the dad again. I'm trying to figure out if this is a fling or if this is love. Why did you have to flee your family? Oh, not a happy bunch of my family. Did your brothers go into the service to get away too? One of my brothers was too old. The other died when I was a kid. I had a brother who died too. He was a baby, just a few days old and didn't live. But my ma got sick and wasn't able to have any more. That would have been hard. Envisioning his maybe future life. 
We start by restoring their bodies, and then we replenish our supplies. You see, all of that takes money. Well, it's a hell of a lot easier to raise money when there's a face behind it. He's gonna be the face. Like yours. I don't feel like a hero, sir. No, you're not getting it. Selling U.S. war bonds is just as important. Now pack your sea bag. You're going home. Just like that. Home? How many U.S. war bonds are you going to sell stomping around the Solomons with us? I wonder how he feels about that. Again, I think he's torn. gonna be leaving them all behind. It probably feels like he's taking the easy way out even though it's not technically his choice. I like you. Stella, she likes you. <laughs> I am going to pray that you come back to us. Seems like they've already adopted him. <laughs> let's get your squad going! Back up that gear, let's go! Better gear up, brother. Trying to get back in shape. No. Okay, so show us. Ready, 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 ready! Oh, oh. What are they doing? Target in sight! Yeah, watch him miss. Do it! Come on, Gibson! Come on, Gibson! No, what the fuck? Hey! 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 What are you doing? What kind of morons have you become? That's what happens when you blur the lines. You will be given one sack of uncooked rice. You will march the 100 miles back to Melbourne in three days. The training, okay. Move out! I've slept on the sand. It's not as nice as they claim it is. It's freaking cold and hard. <laughs> Formation in 20 minutes. Mars, move. On your feet. Let's go, come on. On your feet, let's move. Uh, fuck. Ooh, dude, you gotta wrap that thing up. They're probably all like that, aren't they? God. Hmm. E first. I'm not popping blisters. Oh, jeez. I actually don't think it's a good thing to pop blisters. I might be wrong. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus, that feels good. Oh, it does. They're all hobbling along. Is he leaving? Is that why she's upset? You have to go away, Bob. Please don't come here anymore. What? I'm fairly crazy about you, Robert. I think you know that. I thought so, yeah. She doesn't want to get attached too much. I think it's too late for that. I don't want to have a baby with you. Are you pregnant? No, no. You're not. Bob, you and I aren't going to have a family. And you were never coming back to Melbourne. You're dumping me because you think I'm going to get killed? I think so. If you don't come back to us, I don't just lose you. Mama does too. I can't do that to her and I won't let you. She's lost so much already, Bob. She's praying for you to come back to us. She can save her breath. 
Okay, it's what we pissed and it's what we hurt. It's to be expected. I'm a little bit like that. But I mean, the damage is done. They've already fallen for each other. <laughs> Heartbreak sucks. I can't imagine being in a war while you're dealing with that. Lucky, fuck off. No, seriously, I gotta piss like terrible. You gotta cover for me, okay? <laughs> you gotta go, you gotta go. Someone gonna pass right when they. Yeah, at the wrong moment. It's always the way, isn't it? Lucky, what are you doing? Manning this fucking post, Lieutenant. Are you out of here? I'm mind? the fucking guard on guard. Dude, put the gun down. Hey, I sir! Ken and I went for a quick piss. Lucky was just covering. Fuck, Frick! Stand at attention. Fuck you! I said stand at attention! I said fuck you! Yeah, love can fuck you up. So I guess it's sort of like baseball, huh? What happens in baseball? You hit a ball and uh, you run to a base and you run to the next base if you can. Sounds like rounders. It does. I used to play rounders. Shit. Your unit? How Company, First Marines. Report to your CO no later than 2400. They're off again. Trust you, Marines, got your heads back together. Lieutenant Lebec has got the platoon now, and I want him to inherit a solid outfit, so I volunteered you for reassignment. You're booting us? No, not you. Lecky. What, is, what happens to him then? To the battalion intelligence section. Just fire and you dump in the Pacific. Swim around for days, weeks. Think about how many war bonds you'd sell there. Oh, this is gonna be a hard goodbye. left Australia in love or heartbroken. It must be so weird for these guys to have gone from spending months fighting in the jungle where they're literally killing people to Australia where life is more or less normal. You can tell to me it wasn't like an in-your-face war episode, but it shows how much they're torn. <sighs> On the outside, they look pretty well put together most of the time when they're not partying. <laughs> but you can tell there's so much mixed emotions in there. They don't know whether, whether they're going, staying, falling in love, not falling in love imagining of the future that they could have knowing that it could be taken away just like that you have that sergeant as well he's probably torn he's torn between yes i get to go home and shit really i have to leave everyone behind the guilt the resentment there's just a whole load of feelings that they're all trying to deal with in this one <sighs> still having problems getting these out in order and not getting blocked half the time but i will continue to do my best thank you for watching like and subscribe <laughs> bye